Hey guys, this is Denzel James with my dog Spike, and it's Fan Friday! Yay! Is it time for Fan Friday again? I think it is! Hi, Oakley Kiss. Oakley. Christopher wants to know, are you going to teach baby Memphis how to be a sled dog? Yes, but we can't start teaching her that until she's a little bit older. Melissa asks, do you see a camping trip with all three girls in the near future? Memphis butt. Uh, yes, actually we are looking into going camping hopefully towards the end of July. Really? And we will be taking all three girls. Yes, I moved Memphis's kennel into the living room because she seems to like it better in here than in the bedroom while we're gone during the day. Lucy wants to know, how long did you wait after Shiloh passed away before you got Memphis? Are you ringing the bell? Really? You need to go outside right now during Fan Friday? Okay, we better get that. Uh, Shiloh passed away January 17th. We got Memphis May 31st, so January, February, March, April, May. Four months? A little over four months. Samantha wants to know, can a husky with year-round snow nose get sunburnt? Oh, that's a good girl. Shelby's snow nose is pretty much gone. Shiloh used to have year-round snow nose, and yes, it can get sunburnt. Hey, Oakley Couch Monkey. Roxanne wants to know, do you know anything about electric fences? Do they work? We've tried everything to keep our dogs in and nothing has worked. Escape artists? Definitely. Um, do you have a real fence or are you just going to try an electric fence without a real fence? Uh, what I do know is that a lot of times electric fences do not work for dogs like Huskies because they're too smart. They pretty much can figure out that if they blast through it, it only hurts for a second and then the pain goes away. Uh, so that's what I know. If anybody out there has had experience with electric fences and wants to let Roxanne know more, leave some comments below and let her know what your experience is. We've never tried an electric fence. That's just what I've heard about them and Huskies. We have a six foot high privacy fence that we use for our dogs and it keeps them in pretty good. Hey look, you can see Memphis's cool color change on her neck from here. Look, if you look, hi Memphis. She has this really cool spot on the back of her neck. Put your head down. Put your head down. What we show it in your spot. You can kind of see it. She's got white on one half and not white on the other half. Anyway, Sandy wants to know, when using the kennel, should you divide the kennel so that there's not a lot of room for them to go potty in? I've seen several sites saying to only give them enough room to turn around in. I've seen in your video Memphis is being trained and it looks like she has full reign. If you are having problems with the dog going to the bathroom in the crate, yes, you should make it smaller. They really only need enough room to pretty much get up, stand up, turn around, and lay back down. That's about all the room they actually need in the crate when you're potty training them, if you're having issues with them pottying in it already. That's one of the things you can do. We haven't had any major issues with Memphis doing that, so we didn't make her smaller. smaller. Archie wants to know if we feed Memphis the same food as we feed the other girls. We feed the same brand. Was oh, that a good spot? You gotta lay right there where it's nice and cool. We're actually feeding Memphis Canada Large Breed Puppy. And the other two girls are on Canada All Life Stages. Matthew says, Oakley seems to be warming up to Memphis a little. Ah. She lets her lay on the couch next to her. Oh, now you're gonna get up? What? You're gonna get up? She's such a brat, isn't she? She's such a brat. They're getting along pretty good. Most of you guys know Oakley does have arthritis, so the puppy can be a little bit too rambunctious for her, but they're doing pretty good together. Chelsea has also asked about Oakley. Is Oakley okay? She's starting to look her age ever since Memphis came. She doesn't seem to play, play as often anymore. What are you doing, monkey? Um, it's hot right now here. It's the past few videos that we've done with her pretty much since we got Memphis. It's been hot and humid and Oakley does not like the heat at all. And she doesn't like to, to swim and she doesn't like to get wet. So she's usually not a very happy camper in the heat. So if you think she's not as active, it's kind of like people being not as active when it gets hot. The heat just sucks. Are you going to show us your fluffy butt? Look, there's her fluffy butt. Thanks for the fluffy butt. Are you going to do upside down Oakley? You're not sitting up against the couch, so I don't think you're going to do it. Nope. Just turn your back to us. Fine. Be that way. In the mail today, we got a letter with a couple drawings and a cool husky pen from Morgan. There's one of the drawings. There's another one of the drawings. Whoops. And there's another one. There's a package from Mike. Shelby knows it's a package. 
Memphis is sleeping. Did you forget what a package sounds like? What's in here? Check that out. Buddy biscuits. Memphis, you gotta try one of these. Come here. Let me open them. What? Suddenly you're awake and alert? What? You want one? You can't. You cannot take all three out of my hand. Take one. Memphis. Memphis! Hey! Memphis! Memphis. Look, right here. She's like, whoa! Shelby has to get one too. What do you think? Is that good stuff? Fan Friday is going to be your favorite day when you find out sometimes you get boxes with treats and toys. <laughs> Thanks for sending those. And we got another box with toys and treats in it from, I think the name said Sova? All the way from Australia. Check that out. It's a tire. Memphis. What's that? Whoa. You like to chew on that. And there's some pork trotters. And I already read the back of these. It just says that they're all natural pork treats. We'll give you one in a second. And we got some pig's ears. Nom, nom, nom. That almost looks like my brother's dog. And another tire and a ball with a bell in it. I'm just checking out the tire. All the way from Australia, you guys. What do you think of that? Thanks for sending that stuff. We also got this cool drawing from Ansley. Ansley? I don't know if I said that right. Who says Shelby is her favorite? Shelby, you're somebody's favorite. And then we got this awesome drawing of all four of the girls from X Lauren X Love X on YouTube. She says, sorry for the drawing of Memphis, she can't draw puppies. I don't know, Lauren, that's way better than I could draw. I like them all. I think they're all cute. Super cute. And we got a drawing and a letter from Michael. Cool. And we got a drawing and a letter from Brian. And we got a drawing from Selena. Seems like we get one from Selena every week. This one's pretty cool. And we got a cute little drawing and a letter from Coda the Husky. I'm assuming Coda the Husky and... Um, Coda's owner, but I didn't see another name on it. And we got a letter and a drawing from Nathan. Nathan says, please write me back. I write everybody back that sends me a letter. As long as there's a return address on the envelope, I write everybody back. Now they both got their backs to us. Well, fine, we'll look at you. Hey, what? <sighs> no love, no love from the critters. That's all we have for Fan Friday today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you didn't do so yet, if you go back and watch Wednesday's video, we're doing a couple t-shirt giveaways for celebration for hitting 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you times 20,000 or however many subscribers we have now. <laughs> and also, Monday, we did a video you guys have been asking for for a very long time, which was the How to Crate Train a Puppy video, which is actually the first in a series of short training videos we plan on doing. Hopefully this Monday we're going to do how to potty train your puppy. I think the puppy just went to go take a nap. But anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we will see you guys on Monday. Goodbye!